Hey everyone, it's David coming to you today from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. I got Colonel Crawford with me, and together we are going to discuss seven whiskeys I must always have on hand. Autumn 2021 edition. You know, it was pretty hard getting this to seven different whiskeys. I was going to do five, but then I'm like, I can't do five. So I figured, let me do seven. So the first one on my list is going to be my favorite budget brand. Now, all of these brands, all of these that I have are basically in the sub $30 mark. I probably could say they're the sub $25 mark per bottle, uh, but let's just play it safe under 30 and these are all whiskeys that are available to me here readily in Ohio availability may be different where you live at so and that's my criteria is just what I can go out and buy every day ones like Weller green label I've got a bottle of that I can't get it every day it's in such a limited supply same thing with Buffalo Trace um, and a few others and I didn't want to do specialized stuff that I, you know, I could only get in Kentucky or that cost an arm and a leg. There's definitely some of those I'd like to keep, but these are my everyday. I can head over to my local liquor store two miles away and get them. So the first one, with all that said, is <laughs> McAfee's Benchmark Old Number Eight. And, you know, it's not, and I praise this, it's not a spectacular bourbon by any means, but it is the reigning champ of my bottom shelf battles. Um, if you've watched any of those videos, I mean, it's, this is the, that's the reigning champ. I can't find a bottom shelf bourbon that tastes better than the McAfee's Benchmark. And that's for me. You may not like it. I've read reviews where people just don't like this stuff, but, you know, in context, it is a, a the king of bottom shelf. Next one is going to be my favorite rye whiskey. Now, it's not my favorite, favorite rye whiskey, but then again, I mean, so far, that's the Franklin B out of Three Rivers in Fort Wayne, but I can't get it here. So, for me, wow, old overhauled straight rye whiskey and unlike let's say redemption which is on my i'm never buying it again list the old overholt to me does not taste like a high rye bourbon it tastes like a rye whiskey and it's 86 proof it is to me it's really good it's got a good flavor good balance good overall value for the money and at 18 bucks a bottle 19 bucks a bottle what a value it's so good now for my all-around favorite rye bourbon rye based bourbon as opposed to a weeded bourbon is going to be good old bull i mean look at the sign up here that's one of my faves bullet bourbon sampled a few a little bit of that and for 25 bucks a bottle here in Ohio, I mean, this is just a good general all around bourbon. I mean, straight on the rocks as a mixer. Um, I, I, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. Value for money. And that's something that I will gladly maintain like one or two bottles in ready supply on my shelf here in the whiskey den. Okay, now that leads me to my all-around weeded bourbon pick. And that is going to be my old friend, Maker's Mark. And you know, people talk about Maker's Mark like, oh yeah, that's a good, good bourbon for the, yeah, it's okay. And it's a good value and good mid-range and whatnot. Why are we putting labels on it, all right? It's a good bourbon. It's smooth. It's uh, 
to me it's just silky it's caramelly a um, few years ago we were staying with a friend and I was extolling the virtues of bullet bourbon with her so she and my wife decided let's do a blind taste test so I did a hair prefer the makers over the bullet but it is a weeded bourbon so you're gonna get a little bit different flavor out of that um, 25 bucks a bottle here in Ohio gladly take here here's my wallet take you know take it and I am a Maker's Mark ambassador unfortunately my recent trip to Kentucky to the Maker's Mark distillery did not get me any discounts as an ambassador and my barrel is long gone Yes. Yes. Anyway, next one, um, I'm picking as my 100 proof pick, non-bottled in bond. And it's another weeded bourbon, which is Rebel, aka Rebel Yell 100. Stuff is so sicky, sicky, sicky smooth. It is a good all around. Um, bourbon and I think it's 20 21 bucks a bottle here in Ohio excellent flavor excellent value for money I don't want to say anything that the rebel yell people at Lux Row would take to heart but this is a $40 bottle in my opinion some really good bourbons um, here and again if I'm running low, or even if I just want a second bottle, not going to hesitate. Um, let's see here. Ah, oh, Tennessee whiskey. Am I going to grab the Jack Daniels? Every, every whiskey den should have a bottle of Jack Daniels on the shelf. But this is not the Tennessee whiskey that I need to have a constant supply of. That honor, ladies and gentlemen, goes to the George Dickel Recipe 12 Sour Mash Tennessee Whiskey. 90 proof. This stuff. This is my second bottle. My first bottle is upstairs in our actual den in our house. Um, man, with a steak dinner talk about steak dinners quite a bit but okay let's just let's not cut to any dinner this on the rocks straight up I mean I would not dilute it with soda pop as they say here in the Midwest it is it is <sighs> oh, I can't even I can't even say anything else if you haven't tried the George Dickel recipe 12 buy it I mean I I love this stuff I in fact in Kentucky I bought a bottle of the George Dickel bottled of mod I cannot wait to try that stuff that might be a, a, a mainstay on my shelf the final one number seven lucky number seven is not a bourbon or a Tennessee whiskey let's get this Oh, we are coming to your city. Gonna sing a song and sing along and have some whiskey. Redneck Riviera. A product, a creation of Mr. John Rich of Big and Rich fame. Cause we're coming to your city. Anyway, this is a blended whiskey. Uh, if I remember right, I did some research on it. He came across a blend of seven different whiskeys from around the country. Oh, man, I was so skeptical when I first got this. I think this is my third or fourth bottle. Um, out of Portland, Oregon. Believe it or not. $22 a bottle here in Ohio. Oh, I, you know smooth velvety it it's got a light taste to it and I mean it doesn't compare to to a bourbon 
or Tennessee whiskey. It's a different animal altogether. Um, my wife and I, for our anniversary this past summer, we did a road trip and we went through, stopped in Nashville, Tennessee, and he's got his honky tonk down there, Redneck Riviera, and my goodness, it's so good. It's really good. I'm, I've been say I shouldn't have to save this bottle. I just haven't gotten around to opening this bottle. But trust me, there's a review coming on the horizon for that. Um, so there you have it. These are my my lucky seven, so to speak, for fall 2021. We'll do this again for probably winter and see if any of these have changed. So until then. It's David from my Whiskey Den, and I hope, as always, that your next pour is your best pour. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon with another video. Because we're coming to your city. Gonna sing a song and play a country song. Thanks again for visiting me here at my Whiskey Den. Please subscribe to my channel, and we'll be enjoying our next visit together soon. Thanks again for watching.